It's 102.7. Kiss FM. Good morning. 707 on the West Coast. On this Monday, Ryan Seacrest with you, Sissini, Tanya, and Patty. Well, I've gotten used to saying that. Everybody's name. We're gonna be we're gonna be one less person here. And that person has a message for everybody. And that person who has made a a a choice that she talked to me about and I know to all of us about mm-hmm. to do something remarkable with her life is Patty Rodriguez. So Patty, walk us walk us through how we got to this moment of you turning the page and taking on the next chapter of what you want to do. I don't even think I can I don't even think I can even oh, keep it together. This really hurts. I want all of you guys to know that. It was the hardest decision I've ever made in my entire life. But I know that I my ch- second chapter in my life is just one page away and I have to turn that page as much as it's painful to do. Mm-hmm. I've um I've grown up and there's more things to do for me. And I have two boys too. I have two kids. <laughs> and she does have two it, kids. It is yeah. not always easy to <laughs> juggle all these things at the same time. But I uh, I have to go. But I, I I I wrote you guys a letter because I knew that if I read it out loud, I wouldn't be able to get through it. <clears throat> okay. So is this it here for me to play? Yes. Okay. Patty Rodriguez. Dear Los Angeles, I want to say thank you for allowing me the opportunity to become part of your family for the last 17 years. I remember like it was yesterday, the first morning I walked into the studio, I was so scared and nervous. Ryan asked me what Quintaco is, and I remember my entire body lighting up, excited to share a little piece of my community, a little piece of me. And right there and then, I knew and realized what brought me the most joy. Celebrating my community, our stories, and voices. From local panaderias in Long Beach to a girls' soccer team in South LA doing extraordinary things, to filmmakers breaking barriers in Hollywood. Our stories are worth sharing because we are Los Angeles. Stories of people breaking glass ceilings, finding joy in the darkest of times and pushing through with hope. Telling those stories in the biggest of platforms became my purpose. For that reason, I'm saying not goodbye, but see you soon. My heart tells me it's time to begin my next journey. And the time we've spent together have been the most beautiful. So with tears in my eyes, I say this to you. Los Angeles, you have given birth to me more than once. And for the last 17 years, you have cried with me, laughed with me, grown up with me. You have cared for me. I became part of this incredible team by being me, being myself, being Latina, being Mexican-American, Mexicana, Americana, con el nopal en la frente, and with my accent, many times even choking on some English words live on the air. And one will say I made it despite all of that. But I disagree. I made it because of that. And I don't think anyone really understands how impossible even to this day, in any industry, for a girl like me to make it, to have a platform like this one. But it happened because people, Ryan, saw what I many times did not see in myself, the real me. 
So I want all little girls that sound like me, that come from the hood, that live in one bedroom apartments, daughters of immigrants, having to decide whether to go to college or get a job to help your family to make ends meet, having to grow up faster to survive. I want you to know that it is possible to be all you dream about without ever being anyone else but you. Because there are people in this world that love and value you just for being you. I am you. Los Angeles, you listening right now, you gave me the courage to go after my dreams every day. You gave this daughter of immigrants the courage to be no one else but me. You gave me wings to fly. And I promise you, fly, I will. Ryan, Ellen, Dennis, Tanya, Sissini, Mark, Beata, Jen, Dimitri, Simon, Nick, our entire morning show. Thank you for being part of my life, for sharing life with me. And to Ruben, without you, these last 17 years would have only lived in my dreams. And to you, Los Angeles, I am forever yours. Thank you for these beautiful 17 years. It is time to say goodbye for now. See you soon. Wow, that was so beautiful. Patty and so heartfelt and so you it's 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 who you are it's what you've always brought to the show um, I sit here with with tears running down my face looking at you thinking back to when you started at kiss in 2000 as an intern then the promotions department in 03 and then with me at Hollywood and Highland and the things that you've accomplished personally and professionally that I get so excited to see you know every time you Come and tell me about a new project or a new idea or a new venture. I loved your ambition and I loved your entrepreneurship and I loved that you would come talk to me about those things and had that kind of respect for our relationship. And it's no doubt that you are going to do all of the things that you told me on the telephone when you called me to tell me this. I know you're going to do those things. And I promise you, every single one of us will be right by your side supporting you forever. That's right. I love you guys. We love you too, Patty. I just want you guys to know that even to this day, I'm still that little girl, you know, in Linwood, living in that one bedroom apartment, just wishing and hoping and, and having these, these dreams, these dreams that were bigger than me. Sometimes I felt guilty for dreaming so big. Because where I come from, you can't dream that big because you have to first survive before you even have the opportunity to dream. Mm -hmm. But but one morning I got in the car and I drove up here at 16 years old and my life completely changed. And to this day, it's still still surreal to wake up every morning and spend the morning with you all. But I did it being me. And... And and it's the most beautiful gift that life has ever given me. And I'm just grateful to you all and grateful to the people that did believe in me, especially you, Ryan. Because I know that if it wasn't for you constantly fighting for me, we wouldn't be here right now. And you, you saw things that I, that I did not see in myself. And you gave me the opportunity to to bring my community and be able to blur these lines between this thing called general market and, and Latino market when, you know, and when nobody else was doing that, nobody else was being Mexican American in media. And, and, and I, and we did that here in this show. And, and I don't know if anybody understands the impact, the cultural impact this show had and the domino effect it had. And we did that because you gave me this microphone and you gave me that opportunity and it's, and it was beautiful and I, and I'm so grateful. And I, and I told you, I don't think you've ever, you know, had the big of an impact on anyone the way you have with me. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm emotional watching you. Be emotional, um, yeah. you know. In 
it's so interesting to think about the the opportunity that you have and the choice that you have made to go and and turn that page that you mentioned and start the next chapter and i can only imagine how how hard that conversation was with yourself and your family you know it was but <sighs> so you, can you say what you're going to go do well i'm going to do a few things <laughs> I'm going to focus on my publishing company, Little Libros. I'm also going to be writing more TV, film, things, you know, things that I've dreamt about that, you know, I, I feel that I, I want to continue telling our stories in, you know, in, in these platforms. But it's, you know, and I also want to be a mother. And I want to spend more time with my children. Uh, Alexander is going to be 11 in a few weeks. And I want to take him to school in the mornings. I want to be there more. Uh, because they grow up so fast. And I don't want to look back and wish to, wish to do more. And... It hurts because you guys are very much part of me. And I know this is the right thing to do and the best thing to do. <clears throat> if you're just joining us, uh, obviously that's Patty's voice, and she's made a choice to go pursue <laughs> some other dreams and be with her family more. Uh, her last day, your last day is going to be Friday, February 18th, so you're hanging with us for a little while. Yeah, we got some yes. time. <laughs> So, Sissini, Tanya, you're going to have to deal with all my food obsession conversations now. Well, well she's just a text message away, so we can... <laughs> <laughs> well, th thank you for everything you have done here, and uh, this is not a goodbye. This is a congratulations. Mm -hmm. It is a congratulations. We love you, Patty. Yeah. Thank you. Tanya, you want to say anything? I know, I'm just, like, really sad, you know. I know it's a good thing. Like, it's a good thing, but it's just sad you know we've been through so much and we've been there for each other through it all so it's just like sad well hold on for a second how much have we been through you. what wait wait a minute yeah. <laughs> and what? we can still be there for each other like she said no, she's know, just a text message away i know but it's different you know i think you got to see the the excitement in in her eyes you know tanya that she's gonna go do something that she feels like is her calling yeah, no, I know. I'm so happy thing. for her. Change is never easy. Change is never easy, but I get it. No, it's not. But, you know, having the courage to change is beautiful. It's like a butterfly. Mm-hmm. But of butterfly. that list of people, of that list of people you thanked, did you have a favorite ranking order? Because there was an <laughs> yeah, I'm just curious. Yeah. You had some lot, lot of names in there. I don't want to put them on the chart. Let's run them back. <laughs> 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 One of the people that supported me, all of you. <laughs> she went uh, kind of in order of like the way she met you guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was like, wait, I wonder if there's a pecking order to this. Yeah, because it was like you and Ellen <laughs> first, and then, you know, went down the line. Yeah, and it's weird. It's like we're not, you know, this isn't like work, you know? Like we're all family. So we're it's intertwined just, in our lives. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're very think, lucky to be doing this. For well, sure. Those kids were raised while you were here every day. Those kids were born and raised while you were here every single day. All right. We are not going anywhere, but Patty's at last day will be the 18th to go <laughs> pursue her dreams. Back in one minute to pay a bill. Kiss FM.